<laughs> hey, good Saturday morning to you, Marty McGinnis. Howdy, Megan. How you doing? I'm doing well. Coming to you from Mexico City, and you're there in your studio in San Miguel de Allende. I am indeed on the side of a hopefully extinct volcano. Oh, that's right. I forgot <laughs> about that. Right. Yeah, you know, Marty. So I thought since we were going to be doing a workshop here in April in Guanajuato uh, with your paper mache with Ugo Anaya's printmaking and with my urban sketching, I thought it would be good since we don't live in the same town anymore um, to just do a little video check in to see, first of all, how you're doing. It's been a while since I've seen you. How are you doing? I am doing good. I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna lower my hand here because yeah, my, yeah, I see your my iPad <laughs> keeps wanting to my hand for me, but I, I don't have any questions yet. I'm doing, fine you know yeah. i would really say i'm doing great but yeah. it's been two years of weirdness yeah. and i feel like i'm just coming back into myself you know in kind of a more public way but i'm different now as i think a lot of us are yeah for sure i totally i you know i've been in the bunker for <laughs> a couple of years too and i'm starting to inch out and so it's good to reconnect with people in that sense of like yeah how are you let's see what we can do in this new era because it really is a new era of life living working traveling and everything so we're doing our first in-person workshop in Guanajuato at ugo's place in april and uh, part of it will be your paper mache workshop which i'm super excited yeah. about and so uh, the paper mache workshops that we did in San Miguel, they weren't sleepovers, right? So uh, <laughs> they were two days in San Miguel. So tell us about what we're going to do in Guanajuato. I love the little foxy guy that's in your screen now. Yeah. How cute is that? So tell us what's yeah. new, what we're going to be doing with the paper mache. Yeah, so we are going to be doing a multi-step process, and uh, we'll we'll start by doing. A, I made some samples so that y'all can see what I'm going to be talking about and what we're going to be doing. We'll start by making an armature, but actually, I'm going to back up and say we're going to start by making a sketch or sketches um, of an idea that you might want to do uh, make into paper mache, and we're going to have um, inspiration that includes things like sculptures. Um, Wall pieces. This guy is a hanging. <laughs> Here's Wait a hanger. minute. But I want to uh, see. Take a look at this fella. I, I'm going to talk more about this guy in just a second. Um, Those eyes are freaking me out, Marty. <laughs> also, or we can do a tabletop piece. This is a uh, self-portrait with a cutout where I'm going to be putting a little decoration. That's so interesting. Or, Wait, hang on. Let me just see that again because you said that's a self-portrait kind of a thing. Yeah, it is. Um, I made it. It's to be on a tabletop or a shelf. Isn't that and interesting? It's just a, a different way of considering the concept of self-portrait. Yeah. Uh, and mm -hmm. also, uh, as another option, you might want to do something on a flat board where you can start uh, thinking about making your paintings more dimensional. Oh, and so that. I'm going to be talking about all the various ways that we can make this stuff happen um using the time art honored craft of paper mache and so um we'll, like i said it's going to be multi-step we'll start the first day by doing our armatures yeah. uh, whatever those are going to be for each of us and uh and then we'll we'll do the first layer of the um paper with the wheat adhesive <laughs> a which we have flurry in the past it flurry, is actually, but yeah yeah, we're, we're trying to, uh, well, it is an adhesive. It's an old, old time adhesive yeah. using wheat. You guys are probably aware that a lot of people are avoiding gluten these days, gluten. And so wheat has a lot of glue in it. And so we use the wheat with um, paper uh, to cover our armatures. And that's what give us, gives us our first layer. Um, and that, that's what marries um, all the particles that went into our armature and it starts to marry it together into becoming one piece. Yeah. So this is a sample that I made where I started just like what I was describing. I started with the armature and then I uh, put the adhesive with paper all over it. And then I leveled up by making a kind of a, um, it's a frosting basically using 
the same adhesive, um, but also we used paper pulp, which I make out of cheap toilet paper that pulps oh, up. Really great. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, and then I also add some gypsum, which is also drywall powder, if you're familiar with that, yeah. and glue, just regular Elmer's type glue and some glycerin. And uh, you mix that all together and it becomes a really lovely frosting. You can kind of see the texture of this guy. Yeah. Is, um, it's a little, well, it's way different than if I had just used paper, which actually on her, I did. You might be able to see the difference. You can still see some of the cardboard yeah. and such. Um, so it's just two different ways. Uh, it depends on what you want for your final look. This guy has the frosting as well. Yeah. And um, I know he's, he's very enthusiastic. He's, I actually made this guy to hold medals. I'm, earning medals through an app. I walk, I do my daily regular life and it collects my steps. And yeah. right now I'm walking around the coast of Scotland. And when I'm done, just send me a medal and it's gonna hang off of this guy someplace. Interesting. Well, you know, Marty, <laughs> it, you know, uh, you like quickly described what we did in, in when we did workshops in the past, what we did in kind of hurriedly in two days, yeah. right? We had like, I think we had four hours and three hours or something like that. And it was kind of like, chop, chop, let's do this. But, you know, mm -hmm. we got to get out of the room. And what's going to be <laughs> nice about Panawato is like, you're going to kick off the workshop and have the day where people can build and, you know, kind of really figure it out, right? And have the day to do it. But then um, it'll be April, so things will probably dry quickly. But then they'll have the course of the next few days to like do these other steps. And to also do that kind of stuff uh, on the rooftop for during happy hour, which is one of the greatest things about Hugo's place. His whole place is fantastic. I know you've been there, but you're yeah, not beautiful. there. So it's you're, you're really gonna love it. But um, all these steps of like thinking about how to create your signature piece, how you wanna paint it can be done with, you know, a little time to think about it and work with you on it. So it won't be as, not that it was super rushed, but people, it was kind of like, hurry up, get it done. Cause we got to go. Right. Yeah. I'm so glad you brought that up because that is exactly right. We can revisit on um, the projects throughout the day because yeah. you've got free time and you can spend that however you like. And you might want to join me up um, in our space and add some more details. So for example, the paint job on this guy, you never could have done it in our, um, right. our uh, partial time workshops, but in a workshop like this, you'll have time. You can, yeah. if you want to like this. Yeah. So yeah. And, and this guy, it took me a pretty long time to get the build the way I wanted. There's a rock in here and uh, it, which serves as my base. And then I've got wires that um, he's actually made out of. So I had time to really consider this and to fine tune armature before um, I started putting the adhesive on it. Yeah. So yeah, it's, this is actually a process where it really is multi-step. Uh -huh. And when you're doing it in your own studio, of course you can revisit it as often as you like, as things dry or you wanna tweak something. And we'll get to do that in this workshop. And that'll be the great thing because you'll have the first day where people can really literally get their hands in, in it, right? to build mm -hmm. it and figure it out. And then the next day we do printmaking with Ugo, right? But you'll still be able to check and see how's my baby drying or whatever it is you're yeah. doing. Uh -huh. And then the next day is urban sketching with me. But again, we're all gonna be under the same roof with a rooftop access or so everything is gonna be very well ventilated and very spaced out. But um, so it'll be a almost a week of super creative things that you probably are not doing at home, paper mache, printmaking with Ugo, and uh, urban sketching, you may be, but probably, uh, well, we're going to be doing continuous line urban sketching, which is a little bit different, but super fun. It's all going to be a really great week of just getting creative and getting, literally get, well, the magic of making art with other people, right? A lot of us have kind of given up that in the past few years, or it's been taken from us, however you want to look at it. Uh, we've <laughs> had to separate, right? And so 
people are starting to get together again. And a lot of people are nervous about it, right? Understandably so. We've all been through a lot. No matter what has happened in these past few years, we've all been through a lot, right? So we're going to do this slowly, safely, make sure everyone has the space they need. But we also have a really great, great space to get creative. And with you leading the charge on paper mache, I think it's going to be super fun. Ugo and his printmaking, really uh, just a ton of fun. And then with my urban sketching, it'll give us a chance to get out and see Guanajuato a little bit. Yeah, and I just want to interject too, because mm -hmm. I know how you create these workshops. We're going to become this amazing family during this time. It's just inevitable. It's just how these things go. And it's going to be one of the best families ever. And we're all going to remember each other. And we're all going to celebrate what we're all up to. It's just a really super special time. I agree. I feel like it's good. It's good time for us to do this. We've got a great program, all these three creative workshop thingies that we're doing. And then there's like wonderful rooftop happy hours and breakfast that's where we eat breakfast too and so just to be in Guanajuato right which is a cool city very colorful off the charts Mexican Pueblo Mexico it so it, yeah it's gonna be super fun so I am really looking forward to seeing you it's been a long time yep <laughs> me too <laughs> And uh, so we'll keep working together on this, making sure we have a good program for everyone who joins us. And we'll be doing this again. We've already have it on the calendar for later in the year. So it's kind of exciting, right? Yeah. All right, Marty. So here we are in March and I'm going to see you next month in, well, probably in San Miguel first, but then in Guanajuato. Awesome. Can't wait. Hold up that little fox guy again. Let's just take a look at him one last time. How cute is that? What does he have? A balloon on his hand or what? It's earth. Yeah, it's a balloon, but it's the <laughs> earth. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's the earth. Isn't that adorable? And then show us, uh, show us your other guys real quickly, just so we can see them. <laughs> of course, this guy, metal holder. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Not portrait, not finished. That's super interesting. I'm excited about that. Yeah, and then this is a Ponysaurus. So uh, we'll all be excited to see what this looks like. So we're going to have all these materials, but we may suggest to people to bring some things if something is important to them, right? If they want to yeah, yeah. get into their... In the lead-in uh, communications, yeah. um, I'll have a, a list of things that I'll have, but yeah, like Megan is saying, like, you know, something like this, if it becomes uh, an altarpiece for you or something, you might want to put special things inside that only you know are there, you know, special magic crystal rocks or whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's so we'll have more information about what someone might want to bring or incorporate yeah. as mm -hmm. we get a little bit closer. Yeah. Well, super cool. Super awesome. cool, Marty McGinnis. Uh, good to see you even in the Zoom room here. And I will look forward to seeing you in Guanajuato next month, okay? Yay, can't wait. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. We'll be in touch. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>